Hi, this is Matt, and this is a short, straightforward video on translating titles and descriptions within your YouTube video. So I'm right here on the channel content section of one of my channels, actually the channel that you're listening to this video on here. And I've just got some videos open here in the content section of YouTube Studio. So in order to actually translate uh, titles and descriptions, you can do this at any time in YouTube. Uh, if you want to, once you have a video on there, but I've got a fully, well, it's pretty, I wouldn't say completely automated, but it's a really quick, uh, super simple way to actually do it. So let's open a video here. So I'm just going to open up the details of this particular video. So I need to find one. Uh, in general, you want to have one where you haven't got a huge long uh, video description. So I tend to put the transcripts in here so it can end up being quite big. But let's just try this one. So we come over to the subtitle section. So, uh, so it opens up in details. You want to come down on the sidebar here to subtitles. So I've got um, all of my subtitles that you might have seen in a previous video. Uh, I automated the process of actually adding all these languages, 38 languages, to every single video on the channel. Uh, so it's really good for YouTube SEO and just uh, better accessibility for your videos. Obviously, it's good to be able to provide subtitles for different languages uh, for non-English viewers and people that prefer to watch in a different language. So that's the subtitle section. So all of those are actually published on all of these videos. So we're here on this uh, Vimeo uh, video upload here. So in the title and description section, so if we click on one of these, you'll see that we've got uh, this translation option here. So this is our original English uh, in United States English. And then we've got a section for the description and a section for titles. So in general, at any time, you can obviously come in here and this is, let's just check this out. This is the Arabic one. So we've got language Arabic. So if you knew Arabic, you could come in here and obviously put an Arabic title in there, put an Arabic uh, description in there. That's all fine and good. You could do it the same for uh, Croatian. Let's say you're Croatian or you know Croatian. You can come in here, put your Croatian title in, put your Croatian description in of your original description here. So that's all fine and good. And we've, we've uh, been able to do that um, in YouTube forever. So what I'm going to show you here is this is a tool from vidIQ. So uh, you can check down in the video description. I've got an offer here uh, for a 30 day trial of Vid IQ, so you can check out the platform and see what you think. So I highly suggest that you go for that trial. It's a great, uh, it's a great software overall. Vid IQ, you know, you get this, um, you get like the well, just as one example, you get the channel audit here. Uh, so this is super helpful. You get all of these tools. You get keyword tools. I won't go through the whole platform uh, today because there's so many different options. You can do all sorts of keyword research. It's great for YouTube SEO, so on and so forth. Uh, it's not a promo video about vidIQ, I just want to show you one of their features here. So let's go back into the Arabic section and you'll see that we've got this translate button right here. So this is a vidIQ feature that's built into the actual Chrome extension of vidIQ. So like I say, I'm within YouTube Studio here. And if you do have vidIQ and you have the paid plan uh, or the trial, you can actually use this translate button. So all you do is just click this once, this blue translate button. And just like that, bang, we've got the Arabic here. So we get the Arabic title, we've got the Arabic description, and we can literally just publish that. And we can do this for all of these different languages. So let's go back to the Croatian one. So I can just click translate here. And there you go. We've got a full Croatian description, a long description within, well, one second. And we've got the Croatian title as well. So we can click that. And that publishes there as well. So if I show you, sometimes there's issues with the French one. So uh, I'll show you the French one. Um, okay, so it hasn't done, done it here, that's fine. Uh, but I'll just I'll just tell you anyway. So occasionally, uh, it seems to happen a lot with French, as uh, French can be quite a vo sort of verbose language, I guess, it's, I guess it's fair to say. Uh, it happens a little bit with German as well, so that can be kind of a lengthy language as well. What I've found in general is that if you've got quite a long title or quite a long, overly long description and you're near the character limit, when you translate to certain languages, French being uh, an, a classic example, occasionally your title might be too long. So all you need to do is trim the title, sort the title out and you'll be able to publish. But occasionally your description or your title 
uh, might actually be over the carrot limit here and it will just be red and you the publish button will be grayed out you just can't click the publish button until you sort out uh, the character length which is exactly the same when when you actually publish a YouTube video if you do a title or a description that's too long or has any other kind of issues you just won't be able to uh, save the video or publish the video until you resolve that so same issue here I'm just saying that when you translate uh, you might need to trim a little bit so it does help if you know the language obviously I've got 38 languages here I'm not purporting to actually speak all of these languages uh, I've just published them using uh, Google Translate, which is built into uh, YouTube Studio. So yeah, it's a great tool, the vidIQ tool. Uh, let's do Spanish. So we open up the Spanish one and bang, just like that, we have Spanish. And why might you do this? Uh, well, if you're watching this video, you probably know that this is good for YouTube SEO in general. Uh, we're making our videos a lot more accessible for uh, worldwide audiences, uh, larger sort of geographic distribution. You can come into your analytics and you can see after a few weeks of doing this that your videos are going to be getting a bit of CTR uh, for international audiences. You're going to start to see more, um, you know, if you've published a whole load of uh, Spanish uh, videos in uh, Spanish with Spanish uh, titles and descriptions, you're going to start to see that your videos will be reaching more people in Spain and you'll start to see that in your analytics. So in general, if you want more views, if you want more watch time, if you want a better CTR, uh, then, well, I mean, obviously everyone does on YouTube, so why wouldn't you translate your videos into multiple languages? So do it for subtitles, do it for uh, titles and descriptions. I should say also that the vidIQ tool will do it for, uh, we'll do subtitles as well. I d actually didn't use vidIQ for this one. I used something else, but yeah, vidIQ for titles and descriptions. Hopefully you found this video useful for you. Mm -hmm.